So guys, optimizing your Windows problem settings and all the optimization for your Windows, that is just some basic settings. But in this video, we are going to show you some advanced method how to get the best performance out of your CPU. So guys, in order to get the top notch performance out of your CPU, you need quick CPU on your PC right now. So guys, you can download it from the link in the description. Simply go there and download the software on your PC. Once you download this tool here, you will find that lot of optimization and all the guys information about your CPU in added to properly optimizing your CPU performance. So guys, in the very first step here, you will find that all details like utilization, temperature and the clock speed of your processor. Then here you will find out the power data, then CPU data and CPU sensors. Now here is some important settings which we are going to follow in over this video. So guys, in the very first step on the top left corner, you will find out here these kind of the signals. So these are actually the minimum performance, balanced performance, and the max performance. These are actually the power plan for the quick CPU. So guys, you need to enable the maximum performance on your PC. This will set your energy onto the max performance. Then core parking setting will be disabled. Maximum turbo speed will be enabled. Maximum speed shift settings enabled. Monitor and enforce my settings enabled. Maximum frequency settings enabled and set and activate the quick power plan. So guys, for that, simply check mark on all these boxes. After that, click on the apply button and this will apply all the settings on your PC in just one click. Now hit OK. Once you apply all the settings, now the next step, you need to guys go for your core parking settings. Now here you can check it out here. Actually, right now, my all the cores are enabled and right now, zero processor core is in the parking mode. So guys, if you enable all your CPU cores, you can get the maximum and top notch performance out of your any processor without harming your CPU. So guys, now what you need to do, you need to simply go straight into your core parking settings and make sure to set it on 100%. Now go for frequency scaling and also make sure to set it on 100%. Then here we got the turbo boost. Also make sure to set it on 100% for having the maximum performance out of your CPU. Now go for park and enable core policy. Now you need to go for this drop down and set it on heterogeneous policy standard and set the policy for normal and short thread onto the automatic. Once you follow the settings, now you need to go for this performance mode and make sure you guys turn on it on AC. After that, click on the apply button and apply all these changes on your PC. So guys, now the next step, we are going to optimize our Windows power plan settings. So for that, go for your Windows search. Now search for power and there you will find out, choose a power plan setting. So click on the choose power plan setting. This will take you straight into your power option settings. And there you will find out your preferred plans and additional plans so guys here we have created this quick cpu scheme that is created by the quick cpu application itself so you need to simply select out here this power plan that will automatically balance performance with energy consumption on capable hardware now you need to go for change plan settings click on the drop down and click on this never now click on the save changes again open up your change plan settings go for change at one settings now most important make sure to turn off your hard disk and set the settings onto the zero now scroll down, go for processor, power management, and here you will find that processor, performance core, parking, minimum core. Make sure to set it on 100%. Now go for minimum and maximum cores and make sure to all set on 100%. After that, hit apply and click OK and save the settings in your Windows power plan. Now the next step, we are going to disable the power throttling on our windows. So for that guys, you need to press windows R together from your keyboard. Now simply type here gbedit.msc and press enter. You will get this local group policy editor. If you not find it on your PC, you can simply go on your search bar and search for local group policy editor and you will find out here the settings for the local group policy editor. So guys, once you go to this window, now you need to go for computer configuration, go for administrative template, now go for system folder. Now you need to scroll down and find our power management. So guys, simply find our power management folder, go inside it, go for power throttling settings, go for turn off power throttling. And now guys, from here, you need to enable the settings for turning off the power throttling. This will help you to getting the maximum performance out of your CPU and GPU on the same time. So guys, enable the settings, hit apply and click OK and save the settings. Now again, open up computer configuration, go for administrative template. Now this time go for windows component and here you will find our app privacy folder so go inside it now scroll down until you find let's window app running in the background so open up this window and guys now you need to click on this enable button for enabling the functionality of this program now you need to go for default for all app and set it on force deny for disabling all the background running application on your windows now hit apply and click OK and simply close out local group policy editor. Now the next step we are going to optimize our system configuration settings. So for that again press windows R together from your keyboard 
and this time type your ms config and press enter now you need to go for this boot tab there you will find it advanced option so go inside it check mark on number of processor now click on the drop down and select the highest number available in this list now this will help you to utilizing the maximum performance of your cpu now click on this ok button hit apply click ok and save the settings this will ask you for restarting your pc but we will restart our pc later after doing all the optimization so click on the exit without restart so guys now the final the last step for getting the best performance out of your any specific game you need to follow this step so guys for doing it you need to open up that specific game on your pc that is well and csgo fortnite gta 5 your any game and now press windows button from your keyboard now go for your task manager simply right click on your taskbar and open up task manager now inside this window you will find out all the processes running on your pc right now now find out here that valorant game or any other game which you want to optimize your cpu for so go for that game right click here now you need to go for go detail option now here you will find out that specific valorant file so guys simply right click here now you need to go for set purity and make sure to set it on high or real time now choose it according to your pc specs you can ask me in the comment section and i will suggest you the best settings for your pc specs according to your pc specs so guys go for set purity and now set it on real time if you have a good high-end pc and click on the change purity but if you have a normal pc you can go with high or normal or above normal settings now once you follow this now again right click here go for affinity and make sure to select all your cpu cores from here so click on this ok button and close out this window now you need to one time restore your pc therefore all this needs to take effect after that launch your any game and enjoy the best performance out of your cpu i hope you love it please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and see you again in the next video Spike planted. Come back out. Grenade. Silence. Enemy remaining. No charges. 